MyPillow CEO and pro-Trump conspiracy theorist Mike Lindell just launched his own social media website titled Frank Speech. And it's not necessarily going too smoothly. In fact, the rollout has been an unmitigated disaster. And it's not necessarily because of his incompetence, but rather he says that he was the target of a massive attack. His website has been attacked by the haters. Now, he doesn't necessarily explain what happened? Was it hacked? Was it the target of a DDoS attack? He doesn't say. He just wants you to know that he's the victim and you should feel bad for him. So to promote said social media website, he also held a 48-hour Frankathon where he promoted the website and he took calls from viewers. As you're going to see, this was a very, very bad idea because he was pranked multiple times and he fell for it each time <laughs> and he immediately cries and plays the victim whenever this happens this is this is gold yeah 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 well thank you thank you hey hold on i got i think i got a reporter beaming in scott thank you for calling and god bless you goodbye uh, hello hey mike it's ron with the wall street journal yes yes you're live is that okay Oh, yeah, that's great. But, Mike, I have some bad news to tell you, I'm afraid. And I wish, I hope you can share this with everybody. But, unfortunately, Alexa passed away just a few minutes ago from a drug overdose. Okay, that's a, this is a prank call. This is a prank phone call. You see what they're doing, everybody? You see what they're doing, everybody? That was an attack there because I brought up this great reporter. And that was an attack. You heard it here. This is what these attack groups are doing. Prime example there. We tried. Breaking news here with a guest. Hello? Hello, yes, I have Mr. Chope on standby. Are you ready? Yes. Go ahead, sir. Hello, everyone. Oh, uh, we have the president here, our real president, everyone. Hello, Mr. President. Macronshow.com, bitches. Macronshow.com. Okay. All right. All right. I Sorry, guess that folks. wasn't. I guess that was. You see what they're doing? They're attacking us. They're attacking us. And this is what, uh, I mean, that even came up. They're attacking into our phones. It came up that it was a legitimate, legitimate number. Call. A legitimate. I know the number's coming from. Wow. Wow. That's, that's just brilliant. Um, it, it, if you didn't notice, so it, it cut to a, a woman when he took the Trump phone call. The reason why we got that quick flash of her was because he was actually having a conversation with her, uh, but he cut her off mid-sentence when he thought that Daddy Trump was on the phone, only to find out that it was another prank call. I love how he instinctively just cries and plays the victim. We're being attacked. I don't care who you are or how crazy you are. If you have a phone system where you allow live callers to call in, you're going to be the subject of prank calls. Ask C-SPAN how that goes. Ask David Pakman, who receives calls all the time from weirdos. Like, this is a common occurrence. And especially when you're a target, when you're that batshit insane. I mean, did he not anticipate this? Now, out of curiosity, I actually went to frankspeech.com, and after taking about two minutes to load, the website was empty. It literally was an empty page with a very small video player. And uh, apparently he was live. He wasn't taking phone calls. But as I tuned in, he was spreading more conspiracy theories about the election, saying that China stole the election at the behest of Joe Biden. They flipped millions of votes from uh, Donald Trump to Joe Biden. And it is astonishing to me that he is still spreading conspiracy theories about the election because after he lied about Dominion voting machines, they literally sued him. They filed a defamation suit against him for $1.3 billion. Yes, that's billion with a B. So you think that by now he'd stop making these baseless claims, but he is brazen. And what does he do in response to Dominion? He countersues them for $1.6 billion. So they sue him for defamation. They ask for $1.3 billion. He then turns around, countersues them for $1.6 billion. I mean, what are you even going to countersue them for? Are you going to allege that you're countersuing because they stole the election? Like the very reason why they're suing you for defamation in the first place? It's just, it, it's shocking to me how brazen this guy is. But I mean, I kind of feel a little bit bad for him if I'm being honest, because you can tell that something, something is off there. Like 
he doesn't necessarily seem well, and I hope that he gets the help that he needs. But regardless, even if something's wrong with him, very clearly so, I mean, in a capitalist system, if you have a lot of money, wealth directly translates into power. And when you have power, because you have money, people are going to take you seriously. People are going to bring you on their program on Newsmax, on cable news, and let you spread these harmful conspiracy theories that are damaging to our democracy. So we can't not speak out about it because you're you're very clearly crazy. But nonetheless, it, it's just, I don't know what else to say. Like, this dude is so weird. He's a living meme. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> I don't know what's left to say. I mean, he got prank called. And he kind of deserved it. But um, in terms of whether or not I'll be making an account on his new social media website, Frank Speech, to that I say, absolutely. Whenever it actually is more than just a blank page with a video player, I'll sign up. I'll be one of the first to sign up.